had a really exciting opportunity to try the new Boss Fly Lines competition spay line. And we're going to go down to the casting ponds and do some more casting and give you a little review. Okay, I had a chance at uh, the Clearwater Spay Clave to try this new uh, Boss competition spay line. My cop rod was broke. Gene uh, Oswald was kind enough to let me use this uh, Bruce and Walker spay caster uh, or competition caster spayorama edition and this new boss uh, competition line a really sweet combo really straightforward there's nothing real tricky about it if you're a new comp caster and you want a good inexpensive line they're only $150 they're pretty straightforward you can uh, probably get some help from Gene Oswald as far as recommendation for grain weights and lengths depending on your uh, comp rod you're using and uh, your style if you're a beginner whatever anyway I just wanted to give a shout out to Gene and to, uh, uh, Brian and Greg and say thank you for letting me use this line uh, to Gene especially for letting me use the Bruce and Walker spay comp rod just a beautiful setup it was fabulous real straightforward easy to cast you know pretty cool going somewhere having some bad luck having people reach out to you and help you okay you guys i'm out here uh at the casting pond with nate white man runs him nate uh won a cookie last two weeks ago at uh, the redneck arama at uh, poppy's clearwater spay clave and uh, he did that with this new boss competition line we did a 150 foot cast I think. yeah that. with the wind i think the john got it with a 159 or something like okay. that okay yeah, all three of us were probably within seven to nine feet of each other yeah it with, was, the, with a nasty headwind yeah that wind was not helping anybody but uh, it was pretty cool uh tell us about this new boss line that you're casting with well the biggest thing that kind of turned me on about the whole thing is I like the color blue. Blue is kind of my favorite, so that was an eye pleaser right there. But the second thing is, um, you know, Gene and Greg and Brian, they're all guys I was looking up to. And uh, I'm a big supporter of friends and helping them get their business going. And, that, and to top it all off, this line is just super user friendly. Yeah. And the other thing is, um, you know, the stuff is durable. Yeah. We were out on the river a couple weeks ago and uh, had a new time long belly caster working with us. He was working trout around here for quite a while and he jumped on this just kind of for And he was just cracking was it. Cracking it like a bullwhip. And I was in, my, in the back of my mind, I was thinking the end of the line is going to be all frayed up. Right. And I was grinding my teeth, but he was having a pretty good time. He was on it for about 15 minutes. And when, when he gave me the rod and he wasn't looking, I me and another guy went down and inspected the sucker and you know the line didn't show anywhere of, of signs anywhere it's almost the I mean if you didn't know any better this the, the texture on it feels like a like a fishing line you know just right. in your hands it feels like the, the durable fishing line that you could probably cut down and go into clear water and start jacking out 90 foot casts so how did the, this is kind of beside the point but how'd that guy get along with it the first time he he was kind of the, uh, the 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 point where where he was at in his fishing and casting um, style was mainly just 12 and a half footers, Scandies or Skagits. He'd never touched anything beyond 12 and a half foot. Uh, his lines primarily were in the 30 foot range, but he picked this up and it took him about four or five casts and he was putting out some some decent loops. And so we put another guy on it who fishes but he doesn't do any comp stuff and he was jacking out nice loops is that right so i'm convinced that this line is pretty user friendly right off the spool yeah it's kind of the ballpark that i'm digging right now on this bruce and walker and that's the bruce and walker uh spayorama that's right yeah tournament caster So would you recommend this to a 
to a guy brand new starting out who wanted to do his first uh, spay cut. I definitely would, you know, because anything beyond what you're able to cast now is only going to get better once you get your timing and and all the logistics of your cast put together appropriately. It did win uh, down at, at the red shed. It, it got first place by John, and I was second place. Um, I think Brian got. Did Brian place second or third down at the SOR? Oh, he was second in the open yep. men's. Yep. So, and the other two guys were using the Gale Force. So, and, and I think right. that was a prototype. Yeah, the Gale Force are great comp lines, and I think this is going to be a good one. Yeah. I like it. This one, uh, I got to use it a little bit, and it was seemed real straightforward. And I think it only what's it cost new? 150 bucks. 150 bucks MSRP. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, and there's not really a market out there, so you only get unless you're going to make your own line. I mean, this is this is very user friendly, and it. Uh, it's pretty pretty easy on your pocket too, compared to the for what you get and how long it, it could potentially last. I think Gene was talking like he still had his his line from the San Francisco. He's still casting it. Is he fish with that on the clear water? I don't know, but as soon as Good. they come out with fishing lines, he says they're coming out with fishing lines. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab up a handful of them. If it's anything like this comp line. Bam. Yeah. Pretty sweet. 